Brutal. Hey folks, Magic Kingdom day today. It's Monday. Uh, it's it's kind of looks like it's gonna be kind of busy day for a Monday, but you never really know with Magic Kingdom because it's such a huge park that it looks like it's like huge crowds, lots of people. But then by the time you get on the park and it spreads out, it's not so bad sometimes. But Magic Kingdom is always busy. So, but we're heading in. definitely a pretty busy day here we made it on and came into Tomorrowland and we're gonna do the people mover I think it's about a 15 minute wait I didn't see what it was posted but it looks like 15 no The walkway is not moving and it's like a million degrees out today. I think this is the hottest day it's been since uh, like probably like the beginning of August. Today is warm. Maybe we'll get lucky and see the Tron. Tron cart's moving. The People Mover is my favorite attraction at Magic Kingdom. Probably not for much longer because I imagine I'm really going to love the Tron life cycle. I really like Tron. I really like science fiction. So, but at least until that opens, I know that the People Mover is my very favorite. Please step carefully onto the moving platform. Then step into the car. For your safety, please see your safety. This is the TTA Blue Line. Non-stop service around tomorrow. You always forget how fast it goes. The people move ain't playing. Presented by Enterprise. I'm so excited for that to open. Highway in the sky. The absolute best way to see tomorrow. And in case you didn't know, I imagine everybody watching this probably already knows. There's really nothing like today. But they did announce at D23 that the Tron life cycle will be opening in spring of 2023. Um, and my experience when they say spring, they mean like late spring, like May more than likely. But we'll see. Uh, if I had to guess, if they said spring, it'll probably be May. 
and Star Trader. Oh, yeah. Transfer to Green and Red Line. Don't worry, your express train keeps on rolling through the future. Right by two of my favorite spots. Did you know Progress City inspired the cop cop? And a lot of the visionary ideas throughout Walt Disney World. Look, there's even a tiny people mover. I wonder if that means there's a tiny Borac. is Star Traders, home to the greatest goods in the galaxy. Except actual stars. The films. All right, here we go. We're approaching Tron. Now approaching. Oh, wow, look Lance how far they've come with the construction. I love a good circuit. And these are two of the best tracks in the cosmos for a bit of light and speed and competition. If you look into the back, you can even see where they're getting like the entrance and stuff ready now. They're putting in all the pavement for the front. I mean, this is going to be epic. Maybe no testing going on right now, but it's still get to see a lot of really cool construction updates. It's going to be great. And now uh, wait. Let relaxation wash over you. The most refreshing retreat in the galaxy. The coral rooms of life. I've never been in here when they turn the lights on before. Attention all people passengers. Please stay tuned with your hands on street links inside the vehicle at all times. Vehicle bumping may occur. Right motion will begin immediately. Oh, I hope they... I hope they leave the light on when we start moving. That'd be rad. Bummer, they turned the light off. Please contact Mr. Johnson in the control tower to confirm your flight to the moon. Thank you. Attention all visitors from Galaxy M31. Please keep forward-facing tentacles clear of oncoming vehicles. Thank you. is the Astro Orbiter, our celestial symbol of interplanetary harmony and fellowship. Hop aboard and launch high above Tomorrowland for a spin amongst the planets. Looks like there's a pretty long line for the Space Ranger spin. Space Ranger, I'm gonna see you on Earth. was uh, 40 minutes for the Space Ranger spin and 60 for Space Mountain. I'd say today is pretty busy for, uh, especially for a Monday in September. I don't know if maybe um, the UK has some sort of holiday or vacation right now. Let me know in the comments below if you know, because it seems like most of the people here are Brits or from somewhere in the UK. Somebody stop me from getting a brownie sundae, please. 
I'm so sorry. Oh, no worries. No worries at all. What? Now I know people are going to love this. Hocus Pocus Cauldron. It's only $34.99 for the Hocus Pocus Cauldron. It says trouble is brewing. And it has the witches on it. People are definitely going to love that. This one with Binks on it. I guess this is also Hocus Pocus. <laughs> Hocus Pocus Cups. And then they got all the, um, the witches here. They're in a little... They all sit together in a little cauldron. This one's even... That's odd. This one's more expensive than the uh, cauldron. I think the cauldron is much cooler for $34.99 than paying $39.99 for the plushies. Hocus Pocus Spirit Jersey. What is it? What is it? Here? I didn't show the price on the Spirit jersey, but the Spirit jerseys are like always $79.99. That's a pretty safe bet. Same with the t-shirts. A lot of times I won't share the prices on those, but you're a pretty safe bet that a Disney t-shirt is going to be $29.99 or $34.99. These are really cool. Candle. You know, we have to smell this candle. Wow. It's a pumpkin spice smell and it smells awesome. It smells really good. And the candles are $34.99. It's another spirit jersey. Halloween spirit jersey. The hoodie's 70 and they got matching pajama pants to go with the hoodie. And the pants are 50 so 120 if you want to wear that hoodie and matching pajama pants. <laughs> Keychains are $19.99. These are really cool keychains. Jen brought them to my attention. Pumpkin Mickey hat with some ears on it. $34.99. $34 all these different t-shirt designs Did you see anything you wanted? $35 candle? No. I was heading out but I saw this and wanted to show you guys it because I thought it was freaking awesome Black Panther is one of my very favorite Marvel characters and has been for a really long time I really love Hickman's Avengers run and how he wrote Black Panther in that particular series and how he wrote the Black Panther rivalry with uh, with Namor in that series. It's uh, one of the best dynamics between two characters I think ever written in comics. And uh, Black Panther's always been one I've liked a lot, but ever since that Hickman run, I've really loved Black Panther. It's definitely a busy day, some long lines today. I'm not going to be here long enough to get the Genie Plus, so this will probably be more of a lunch and walking tour video rather than doing a lot of rides. But that's okay because I really love coming to Disney just for the ambiance and the atmosphere and just taking everything in. And just it's, to me, it's just fun to be here and walk around and look at merchandise and maybe have lunch. Thank you. 
an hour. Haunted Mansion, another one of my favorites here, but it's very busy today, 55 minutes. <laughs> Only in Florida. Standby line for Big Thunder Mountain is 50, 5 0, 50 minutes right now. And the standby entrance for Splash Mountain is 65 minutes. I wonder if all those waits are actually as long as they are posted, though. You see that a lot with Disney lately. I have my own theories as to why Genie Plus <laughs> trying to sell more of them, but uh, a lot of times you come here and the lines are posted at like 60 65 minutes and you only wait for 40 or so um and i i do honestly think that they have started overestimating them more than they did before since the genie plus because you see a bunch of 65 70 minute waits probably gonna buy a genie plus Pirates of the Caribbean standby entrance for that today is 65. We're heading around to our uh, lunch reservation at Tony's, one of my favorite spots. Hey, how's it going, my friend? Doing hey, good? All right. It's yeah. uh, 45 minutes to meet Mickey and Minnie today. They sat us right in front of Lady and Tramp. <laughs> Isn't that cool? I'm gonna try Jennifer's Bellini. What kind of Bellini is it? <laughs> it's good, it's a Bellini. It tastes like mostly champagne. The Bellini is uh, Bellini by Canella with Prosecco, peach juice, and drops of wild raspberry. And um, to me, it mostly just tastes like sweet champagne. Kind of has a hint of a peach to it, but not a really strong peach flavor. It's good though. We got the uh, toy box tomato salad as an appetizer. And brought us some really good looking bread. Well, this looks really good. That's amazing. It's really light and refreshing. It has a really good vinaigrette on it. Some nice crunchy pieces of croutons in it.
Yeah, it is so delicious. Large green tomato with the ricotta. Probably some of the house bread. Probably nice like herb oil to dip it in. It's good. Better to dip it in the vinaigrette from the tomato salad. I mean, both had the same idea. Way better. Look at the size of this tomato they put in there. <laughs> I ordered the orakete with the sausage and Jennifer ordered the penne chicken al forno. And it all looks so good. Big pieces of orakete pasta and spinach. And <laughs> the orakete is really good. The salsas. Savory and buttery. The sausage is just these nice, juicy, tender chunks of sausage. Everything's perfectly cooked. The pasta's al dente. Let's see how I show you. And these giant pieces of sausage in there. There's a lot of them too. It's so good. Mmm. I didn't think it was very spicy. They're both a little spicy, but she said that the um, orquete was really spicy, but I didn't think it was all that spicy. But I mean, I have an aversion to spice. I eat a lot of spicy food, so. You try to get a bite with everything in it. Orquete pasta, lots of the sauce. Sausage and spinach. Is this spinach or is this broccolini? I think it's spinach. I almost always get the spaghetti and meatballs when I come to Tony's. Then I love spaghetti and meatballs. Like bolognese is one of my favorite meals, period. But I'm really glad I got this orchette today. It's really, really good. And there's so much of like the beef and lamb sausage in it. Just tons of it in there. So we just finished our lunch at Tony's. I reluctantly skipped the cannoli as much as I wanted it because we're not on vacation. Uh, this is my meal for today. Um, everything was awesome here, really good. If you like like spicy vinegary, I'd recommend trying the orakite if you eat sausage with beef, lamb. It was really, really good. Um, Jennifer's chicken penne al, al forno was really good too and the bellinis were really good too. She's so good she got a second one Um, no No, we, we cannot get out this way We get out this way
Jennifer stopped at the confectionery store on Main Street on the way out and they had like really good inexpensive treats in there today um, especially with our pass holder discount we got 30 percent off we got this um, Mickey rice crispy pop and we got another delicious looking oh this one's heavy this one feels like it's like 10,000 calories yeah, this one, see, it was only $5.99 with our discount. It's like $4. Said she paid $13 for all three. Oh, no. Yeah. Oh, this one's really heavy, too. That's sugar cookie. Oh, that sugar cookie. So good. So I'm going to try a bite of this sugar cookie before we leave. We bought them mostly for the kids, but I'm going to try a bite just for science. That's the only reason why I'm trying this. Bit off a piece of the ear. That's so good. Everything they make at these parks, at Disney in particular, like, they just rarely cut corners. This sugar cookie is like gourmet quality cookie. The cookie is soft. It's not too sweet. It's just like like a perfectly made cookie like something you would expect at a gourmet cookie shop and it's beautiful <laughs> i mean can't beat it well, that's it for us today we're headed out of here um it was really busy today i was kind of surprised by the crowds for monday but you never have a bad time at the magic kingdom even when it's busy you find awesome stuff to do we had a great lunch we got to ride my favorite ride the people mover i got to have a bite of that delicious cookie and we got to take in the parade and just the amazing ambiance that is Magic Kingdom. You know, no matter how busy it is, how long the lines are, you can always find something to do. And I don't think it's possible to have a bad time here unless you're just a grumpy person. But I uh, thank you guys so much for watching, as always. Please like and subscribe, share with your buddies. Stay brutal.